So in the previous video, we introduced the idea of the immediate representation for ARM uh, and the complexity of it, where we're not just representing an immediate number, we're representing 8 bits of value that we can put anywhere in a 32-bit register using some shift thing, right? So now we're going to practice this and make sure we really understand how it works by attempting to encode the number 511. So I hope you give it a shot um, and we'll see where we go. So 511, what is that value? 511, what is it in binary? Well, uh, that's, I mean, you could do the divide and shift and divide and shift and divide and shift, or you could recognize that this equals 512 minus one. And we know that 512 is a power of two. What power of two? Uh, well, 1024 is two to the 10, because that's one that we remember. So two to the nine is 512, it's one less. So this is, 2 to the 9 minus 1. Well, what's 2 to the 9? Uh, this is 2 to the 0 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 2 to the 9. Let's put another 0 there so we don't forget that it's positive. Uh, so that's 2 to the 9 minus 1. Well, if we subtract, uh, we're going to have to borrow, 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 borrow. And so what we get is uh, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, that's 512. Uh, sorry, 511. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And you can add them all up and confirm to yourself that this is, in fact, 511. It's 256 plus 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 8 plus 6 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. And you get 511. So that's the number we want to put into our immediate value. How do we do that? Well, Remember, we take 8 bits of value, and we shift that somewhere in the 32-bit number. Well, what 8 bits should we take here? We got 9 bits of value. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we got a choice here. What 9 bits should we take? Well, probably we should take the most significant 9 bits, because that way we've got the closest number to 511. So we've established we can't represent 511 in a single immediate value we're gonna need two instructions. The, the assembler will make a pseudo instruction in this case, and it'll take two numbers, add them together to make 511. But how close can we get? What's the closest number we can get? Well, you might think that we wanna take the top eight bits of value, like this, right? And so we'd get 510, but we can't. Why not? We take eight bits of value, we shift it around. The amount we shift by has to be even. Why? Well, because 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 it's a 4-bit shift value. And we've got a 32-bit number that we want to shift within, which means we have to shift by an even number because 4 bits only specifies 16. We need to specify 32 to say how much we're going to shift. And so we shift by an even value. So we can't shift by this. That doesn't work. So instead, we're going to take this amount. And we're going to shift it by 2. Rotate, I guess. Uh, if in the specification you're actually rotating by two, but we're going to rotate by two, right? And so we're going to take this and we're going to rotate it by two uh, and we're going to lose all of this value. And so how much value is that? That's three, right? This is one and this is two and that's three. And so the end result is going to be 508, not 511. So let's see what this actually looks like. The encoding, uh, the number we're encoding is this. And then we're rotating that by 2, which means we put a 2 here. And that is the value we're going to get. <clears throat> and so in the end, this is the 12 bits that we're going to put in the immediate field when we want to store 511, except it doesn't store 511. It stores 508. And then we need to add 3 to that to get us to 511. You can see where this can get complicated. And this is the trade-off between these reduced instruction set mechanisms. Common things are quick and simple. And so the trade-off that, that the designers decided to make is numbers between 0 and 256, or numbers that only have 8 bits of significant value, they're going to be quick and easy. Uh, numbers, any number other than that, will take two or three or even four instructions to build that number together. But those are uncommon. Most of the time, pardon me, most of the time we deal with numbers that are smaller than 100. And so most of the time, 8 bits is going to be fine. So that's how we encode 511. And again, the assembler should make 
a pseudo instruction for you. Uh, and so if you're looking at, assemb at ARM assembly code and you see a bunch of instructions that are immediate values all together, add, 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 probably that's the assembler building a more complicated constant uh, than could fit in 256. So what is the range of possible immediate values we can then generate, right? We can take these eight bits and we can shift them anywhere we want, right? And so the biggest number we can make in a single instruction is those eight bits shifted all the way to the top, which is not 4 million, like as if you had ones everywhere, but 4,278,190. So not all values are available and you're only allowed to use even rotates. Now, there's one further complication, which I didn't mention because it's very frustrating. Um, it makes me angry every time I think about it. Uh, and this is uh, how I know that you stayed to the end of the video because what we find when we actually do this is that it, we're not shifting to the left, we're shifting to the right. In fact, we're rotating. So we're not shifting by two, we're rotating by 30 because we go to the right instead of the left because it's stupid. It's complicated. Why? It makes sense to shift it to the left because we want to add value to it. But in fact, what they do is rotate it to the right, uh, go all the way around to the other end. Um, and so if we go all the way around to the other end and want to come back to here, we're actually rotating by 30. And so this isn't 508. In fact, it's 30. Uh, what's 30? Well, again, that's an even number. We cut it in half, 15. So it's 1111. That's 15. And then 00111111. This is actually the correct number, right? We're not shifting to the left by two, we're shifting to the right by 15. And in fact, this wasn't even the right number either because we're shift by an even number and we divide that number by two before we encode it in the recording. So this shouldn't have been that, even if it was, it should have been that. Because we take the amount that we wanna shift by, cut it in half before we represent it in those four bits, and we have to subtract it by 30 anyway because we want to rotate it instead of rotate it right instead of divide it left. This encoding scheme is complicated and frustrating. So do not be surprised if you're trying to uh, trying to uh, disassemble or unassemble ARM code and you see complicated weird stuff uh, that doesn't seem to add up. The immediate value is somehow obfuscated a little bit right? Because it's eight bits of value and then four bits of right rotated by twice the value or half the value, depending on how you count. So complicated. Uh, it's worth practicing that. It's worth really trying to dig in and understand exactly how that works. The immediate representation is complicated. All right. So that's the example of the immediate value. Um, now in the next video, I'm going to talk about all the different shifts that you can use when you are trying to encode a value uh, in argument two of your ARM instructions.